What up, Hoop Spacers? It's your boy, JP, giving my reaction and thoughts on the Boston Celtics versus the Cleveland Cavaliers game that went into OT where Cleveland survived by one point, 114 to 113. Before we get into my reaction and thoughts, make sure you subscribe to Hoop Spacers down below for more basketball content on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Make sure you like this video at the end. Click the notification bell. You will know when our next upload is. And make sure you comment down below and tell me your thoughts about the game. So let's go ahead and get into my reaction and thoughts about the Celtics and Cleveland Cavalier game. Let's look at it from the Boston Celtics side. The Boston Celtics, I mean, Tatum and Brown played really well. Um, Tatum uh, got 26 points, I believe. T uh, Jalen Brown had like 30 points. Um, Marcus uh, Smart had a pretty good game. Al Hoffel played a whole lot better than he did last week against Cleveland. Uh, got a double-double, played both ends on the floor too as well. Uh, Brogdon played pretty good. Grant Williams played okay. Um, the thing with the Celtics, um, they shot really poorly from three. If they, well, if they shot better from three, I think Boston could have took them, but they shot really poorly from three. Their defense, especially in the uh, – uh, first and third quarter was just like not existent. Like it was just not existent. Um, especially that third quarter when you let Cleveland uh, get a twenty nine and ten one and scoring thirty three points. That's not good defense. That's not good defense at all. And just letting Darius Garland just cook in that <laughs> first quarter. Just letting him cook. Coming back from an eye injury to out of all games, he had to come back against the Celtics. So <laughs> it's just uh, it's just absurd and everything. And then it seems like the kryptonite is always Donovan Mitchell for some reason for the Celtics because anytime Donovan Mitchell goes against the Celtics, he has a really good game against the Celtics. You've seen that what happened with Friday when he just went off. And he still went off tonight, but our defense wasn't the best. Um, so that's one thing. And then when you look at it, they allowed 56 points um, in the paint. Uh, that's not really good, you know. We definitely have to get another big, especially a big that could, you know, play defense and be able to contribute, um, you know, as a role player. So hopefully we can get another big. We know Tom Love's going to be coming back as early as December, but we don't really know how healthy he's going to be. So if we can get, like, another big, that would be great. Um, but, yeah, it's just, you know, seems like, you know, Cleveland has our number. Cleveland has our number, so... And we shot really well um, in terms of free throws. Like, we're one of the best free throw shooting teams in the NBA. And Tatum and Brown hit all their free throws. So we shot our free throws really well. Um, you know, it just kind of sucks that Brown missed that shot, you know, hit the back of the rim. We couldn't win the game, unfortunately. But, you know, we got to play a lot be better on defense. We have to play a lot better on defense. Our offense wasn't that great in the third quarter, as you could tell. We were just struggling in the third quarter um, against the Cleveland team that went on the 29-10-1. So we have to play a whole lot better than this, you know. Um, like I said, you know, I have to give props to Cleveland. And, you know, I thought Cleveland would be like a low C team um, in the, you know, fifth or sixth because of the – you know, chemistry with uh, Mitchell and Garland, but it seems like they're going to be one of the best teams, one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. Um, so we just have to wait and see. It's early in the season, but, um, you know, when you look at the eye test, they're looking really good right now. So, And then when you look at it from the Cleveland side, you know, it's great to see uh, Darius Garland back in the lineup. And he was hitting, you know, shots, you know, three-point range, floater, mid-range, driving in playmaking whatever you are whatever you want he will give it to you and no wonder why he probably going to make another all-star game uh this year because he's one of the best uh guards in the nba and what he does just goes underneath the radar but dude could really ball donovan mitchell what else could i say like he he done really well uh jared allen played really good um Evan Mobley chipped in with 15 points. The bench wasn't that great for Cleveland, but um, they were able to still survive by, you know, the dynamic backcourt of Garland and Mitchell. Um, oh, man, like Cleveland, you know, especially in that second quarter, the second quarter, their offense was not doing really well. And they shot a lot better on three points, uh, three point line, and also the field goal than the Celtics did. Um, 
yeah, just Cleveland just got Boston's number right now. Um, two, two to zero in the season series. <laughs> and then especially with OT, they played um, a lot better in OT. And like I said, you just got to give them props. You have to give them props. Um, it was a really good game. Um, at the end of the day, you know, Cleveland took it. They're a good team. Definitely, um, they got size. They got playmaking. They got a really good backcourt. They do have a bench with Kevin Love and Kent and Osmond um, on there. I mean, they got a really good bench. They, Like I said, they just didn't play well tonight. But like I said, that backcourt, I mean, made up a lot for it too as well. So, And then just having those explosions in the first and third quarter too as well. So um, definitely congratulations to the Cleveland Cavaliers of their victory. Uh, tell me your thoughts uh, and reaction to the game. Make sure you subscribe to Hoop Spaces down below for more basketball content on the world of 1K. Make sure you like this video at the end and click that notification bell. If you like me and mess with me, uh, check out my YouTube. Uh, it's just JP with the Z. It's going to be in the description. Please subscribe over there and you'll get more basketball content from my end too as well. I just place, uh, put up a new video regarding Pistol Pete Melvich and how good he really was. So please check that out. I'm JP. Y'all have yourselves a wonderful night and I'll see y'all later. Peace.